Okay, you've got it. for the show we're supposed to tape tomorrow. What are we going to do? We'll come up with something we always do. But what? We don't even have a guest. Let's go through our possible guests, and maybe we'll find some ideas. Hey, it looks a little serious around here today. Everything OK? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Well, I just wanted to let you know we've been going over the script for today's show, and everything looks terrific. I hope the rest of the week's shows look just as good. You can count on it. Good. good. We better get to work. Everybody ready to make a TV show? Everything technical is ready. We're almost ready on the floor. Sherry just fixing Lindsay's hair. I don't get it. She looks great, yet everybody's always fussing with their hair and clothes. Casey, you always have patience for lighting or something technical. It's important that our hosts look as good as possible, too. I understand lighting, but I guess I just don't understand hairdos. Can we go on now? Yes. Good. Roll tape and roll the opening title sequence in three, two, one, and take it. And cue the host. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids, and Biggles. Hi, I'm Erin Harvey. And I'm Lindsay Bartleson, sitting in for Alexander Palm. Alex is still away on a big, important assignment. Oh! But right here on the Kids Songs TV show, it's Bird Day. Bird Day? Yep, Bird Day. Our guest, Karin Wagner, is an expert on wild birds, and she's bringing lots of them to the studio. So that's why it's bird day? Kind of. We also went through our vaults and found that we have a lot of songs about birds. So let me guess, you're gonna play all of them today? You got it. So let's get into our first video, Five Little Ducks. Five little ducks that I once knew. That one skinny one Walk, 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 walk,
should do tomorrow's show about hockey. Hockey? We don't have any videos about hockey, and not that many kids play it. Well, I do, and roller hockey is getting really popular. I'm not thrilled with the idea. Then you come up with something. How about we do a show about butterflies? Butterflies? We should think of some ideas, too. I know, but it's hard to do it in the middle of a show. Tell me about it. Cue Lindsay. This next video is about a hen that gets into just about everything. Including lots of things she shouldn't. Just like a little kid. You know, when I was just a little baby Biggle, I once took a jar of peanut butter and spread it all over my room. <laughs> my mom! Uh, Billy, let's talk about this later. We're just about to play a video. <laughs> Sorry. I got a little carried away. Just like the old hen. that are so well trained, it's awesome. Kid Song's kid, Katie Polk, is working with a very clever dog, a young chimpanzee that'll steal your heart, and a beautiful blue and gold parrot. So let's see what they can do. Let's see what my dog can do. Jake. He's putting on a show for you. Can you believe Cover. your eyes? He can do everything he tries. Bark. Oh. and folk song music videos, why don't we do a show around the musicians who make that kind of music? 
I love the steel string guitars. I love the fiddlers. Wouldn't it be great to get some fiddlers who can really play the fiddle, bluegrass style? That would be great. And we could research the music and find out the differences between bluegrass, rockabilly, country, and folk music. And the host can dress in country clothes. And Billy and Ruby can teach the kids how to do a square dance from their studio. This is all coming together. I think we've gotten a little carried away. We missed our cue. Cue. And now it's time for our Jessica Free to present today's top 10 most fascinating facts list. And the subject is birds. Hi, I'm Jessica Free, and I'm going to present today's top 10 fascinating facts about birds. Number 10, when the male frigate bird sees a female, boy does he blush. His throat turns bright red and blows up like a balloon. Number 9, the North American catbird's call sounds just like a cat's meow. Number 8, the ptarmigan is so good at camouflage that he is white in the winter and brown in the summer. Number seven, the Cape Pendulum tit builds its nest with a false entrance to confuse its enemies. Number six, the flamingo lowers its long, strong neck and beak all the way down to the water and fishes upside down. Number five, the heaviest flying bird is the Cory Bustard of Africa who can weigh as much as 42 pounds. Number four, the albatross's wingspan is so large that it can glide over the ocean for hours without a single flap of its wings. Number three, the smallest bird, the bee hummingbird, is only two and a fourth inches long and weighs less than a ping pong ball. Number two, an ostrich egg is so strong that two adults can stand on it and it still won't break. And the number one most fascinating fact is... <laughs> The young hopes and birds of South America have little claws on the tips of their wings that they use to climb trees until they are old enough to fly. And there's more. They can swim, too. Whew. Thank you, Jessica. And now, let's continue our music video tribute to the wonderful world of birds. Three very talented brothers who call themselves the boys went to an aviary to see what's going on. And they found a rockin' robin. He was rocking in the treetop all day long. Rocking and a bopping and a singing his song. Oh, yeah! Let's check out Rockin' Robin! Robin. show that involves science. There's so many choices. We could have a marine biologist teach us about sea life. Or an astronomer teach us about the planets. Or a botanist can teach us how to identify the different types of trees. These subjects sound so fascinating. What did you call them? The sciences. Well, I'd love to learn more about the sciences. Can Ruby and I help? Sure. 
there will be a lot to do. We can even use our magic powers. Do you need us to bring some trees or stars into the studio? Uh, that might be a little too much, but you can definitely help. Well, as Lindsay says, cool! <laughs> Aaron, sit up a little straighter, please. Good. And cute. Karen Wagner, our bird expert, is getting ready to come out with the blue and gold parrot, a kookaburra, and more. Speaking of very impressive birds, the Kid Songs kids got to work with a martial eagle. What an incredible creature! His beak is so big and strong, and his claws are huge! You gotta see this guy! And that's exactly what we're going to do right now in our video of If, if I, I Could, could talk, talk to the Animals! We could talk to the animals! Just imagine it chatting to a chimp and chimpanzee. Imagine talking to a tiger, chatting to a cheetah. What a neat achievement it would be if we could talk to the animals, learn their languages, maybe take an animal degree. We study elephant and eagle, buffalo and beagle, alligator, guinea pig, and flea. We would converse in polar bear and python, and we would curse in fluent kangaroo. If people ask us, can you speak rhinoceros? We'd say, of course. should be about. Hello? We've come up with a fabulous idea for tomorrow's show. That's great, but so is everyone else. What are we gonna do? Why don't we have a meeting after the show and discuss everyone's ideas? Now that's a very good idea. Our guests are in position. Guests? The birds are our guests too. Of course, let's run the question time graphic. You got it. In three, two, one, and take it. Our guest, Karin Wagner, is from the San Diego Wild Animal Park. And today, Karin's brought with her several of her fine feathered friends. So let's join Karin Wagner and Ryan McCutcheon on Question, Question Time. Time. Thank you, Erin and Lindsay, and thank you, Karin, for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. However, it's not just me that has come along today. My partner here, Debbie Weber, is going to be bringing out some, some birds as well as myself, and they're from all over the world today. Oh, neat including this fellow right here. He is an African pygmy falcon and his name is Norman. And although he may look like a baby bird to you, he is a full grown adult. No way. Yes, he, he is. is. Oh, neat. Do they live in nests? They do live in nests, but what's really interesting is that he doesn't have to build it. Oh. They share the nest with the buffalo weaver. The buffalo weaver builds it, maintains it, and is protected by this little bird of prey. <laughs> well, this is a laughing kookaburra. His name is Zeke. He's only four years old, and he does come from Australia. Will he laugh for us? Well, he is called a laughing kookaburra because of the song that he makes. He normally laughs almost like a human laugh. <laughs> First thing in the morning, and believe it or not, he already laughed this morning. But we have it on tape for you to hear. Oh, good. This is Grover, and Glo Grover is a blue and gold macaw. And I think she might have a few things to say to us. Grover, can you just say hi? Hi. Good girl. Can you say hello? Hi, Grover. 
good girl. <laughs> Can you be a little more polite? How are you? Oh, we are <laughs> doing very well. Are you doing well? Good. Well, I think she's doing well too. Let's see if she is. Grover, how are you doing? Are you doing fine? Yeah, <laughs> good girl. Well, she's having a lot of fun today. Do you like being here today? Yes, <laughs> you do. Good girl. Are you being funny? Can you laugh? Can you laugh? <laughs> yes, very nice. Ryan, would you like to see her climb? Yeah. So I'm going to put her on the screen rope and she's going to show you how she uses her zygodactylus feet and her large <laughs> beak to climb. Now zygodactylus wow. means two toes in front and two toes in back and she just did a great job. Good girl, Grover. Hey. Very nice. And finally, what advice do you have for kids who want to train birds when they grow up? Well, I'm glad that there are a lot out there that have an interest. My advice to them is to keep studying and stay in school and to just keep studying science because eventually they're going to cross birds in their path and hopefully someday they can volunteer for a place that has birds. Well, thank you, Karin and Debbie and all you birds for coming today. We've had a lot of feather-filled fun. Well, I'm glad. Thank you so much for having us and I hope that you'll come visit us at the Wild Animal Park. Yeah. Well, I think Grover has something to say. Say bye-bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Karin. And now it's time to go to Billy and Ruby Biggles Dance Studio for their Sing and Play Along. Hi, kids. Billy and I are very happy that you are going to sing and play along with us. We picked a very cool song. It's called The Way You Walk. Have you ever noticed that everyone walks a little differently? Especially animals. I mean, a giraffe doesn't walk like a duck, and a biggle doesn't walk like a turtle. <laughs> I think they get the idea. Now, let's teach you a couple of steps you can do along with a song. This is called the stroll, and it goes like this. Remember, keep your thumbs up and shift your weight from side to side. Big sister, we're strolling. Now, let's try it with the music. I love the way you walk when you're passing by. One last song, and then we'll have our production meeting on the stage in the interview area. You've got it, and cue. We've seen so many beautiful animals today, it's hard to believe we even have more. But we do. Right here in our next song, Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those keepers?
love the idea Lindsay, Ryan, and I came up with. I don't know, our idea is pretty cool. And ours has to be the coolest. I like all of them. Cue the host. Well, kiddos, that's all we have time for on this episode of The Kids Songs TV Show. The one and only show made by kids. For kids. And starring kids. With a lot of help from Biggles. You are too much, Billy. Do you know what to say now? Sure. See, See ya. ya. See ya. Bye. We've been discussing this for two hours. I think we need to make a decision. Our rule is that we always agree that everyone's voting for their own idea. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. sure. Can you come up with another way of deciding? Great idea, Ruby. We can put each idea down on a piece of paper and pick one out of a hat. And make the shows in the order they're picked. After all, they're all great ideas. And that way, every good idea gets a turn. Does that mean I get to wear a kimono, learn how to play a fiddle, and look through a telescope? I think we can rake it out for you, Billy. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, 